Good morning, you guys. Mental health check. How are you doing? <laughs> um, we're doing well over here. I just had all the windows open and it got super cold in here, so Breaker's not happy. Um, but I'm doing well. I'm super excited. I feel like re-energized. I'm starting to feel more like myself. I don't know about you guys, but like with the sun coming out and it being like actual spring, I live in Minnesota. As you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know that. Um, but if you follow me over on my Instagram, you would have seen over the past week, it's been like snow, melting snow, green grass, snow, melting snow, green grass, snow. <laughs> repeating itself so it's finally finally like sunny and 60 and nice outside um oh squeakers i know he had a really late nap it's like 3 15 right now and he just woke up like 20 minutes ago or so anyways he's super crabby and it was really hot in his room so he's super overheated hold that thought i'm gonna go get him dressed and get him out of his high chair and then i will check in with you guys See, now I'm all dressed. No, I'm dressed. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Go play. Go play. Be free. Um, they didn't see me. They didn't see you. Do you wanna come say hi to the vlog? I have a dirty diaper. I gotta throw away this diaper. You wanna come say hi? Kinda of warm in here. Yeah, it's kinda of hot. Tell them what have you been up to lately? What have you been doing? I've been good. You've been good? Yeah. yeah. What have we been doing? I've been doing eating my food. Just eating your food? Yeah. And playing. And playing. What? <laughs> your hair looks good. Yeah, and we braided your hair and it got so curly and cute, didn't it? So wavy. I love it. You already have curly hair, but it looks even cuter now. <gasps> You're so silly. This is what happens when I try to pick up the camera. Kaya just bolted downstairs. Riker is getting into the cabinets. Nobody, I'm gonna have to put you in your little. All right, let's pause again. I'm losing my mind. No. Mail time. Okay, so I'm back. Um, we got an Amazon package in, so it's mail time. Yep, it is. I think it's Kai stuff. Oh my gosh, look it. Kai key, hemp parts, resveratrol. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Yep, and keto fat bombs. So, um, I don't, I can't remember if I told you guys in my other vlog or not, but um, I'm going back to like a low carb lifestyle. I'm trying to, to have an anti-inflammatory um, diet because this Costa Chondritis, eh, don't bite, don't bite that with your teeth. There's germs on there, hand sanitized. Um, like follow like a gluten-free, like anti-inflammatory diet. And you guys know that I pretty much was before, but I have taken a break for a while from my diet. If I'm being honest, um, I was not consistent whatsoever. Um, and I was really letting things slip. But mom, stop. That's, that's grown up vitamins. You don't want those. Uh, I cannot stop purchasing things uh, for this new lifestyle. Um, Mike is on the same train with me. He's been like, Mike purchased some CBD oil. Oh, I didn't say it was gonna smell good. <laughs> um, I got resveratrol um, because it's actually really good for um, inflammation. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I used to work at a vitamin company way back in the day. Um, and I went to three years of dietetic school. So I have a little bit of like nutritional background. I anyway, so I have a little bit of like a nutritional background. Um, yeah, just a little interesting tidbit about me. Um, so 
I've been focusing in on my trace minerals and things like that um, and now I'm honing in my diet um, and I'm I want to um, start reintroducing my cardio again I'm so intermittent with my cardio um, and like my workouts I've done nothing for the past six weeks yeah not a thing for the past six weeks so I need to start reintroducing that but I need to be careful because of this costochondritis man man almighty anyways um a resveratrol this is something that I swear by um, this is actually found in red wine um, anyway super good I'm gonna leave the um, link for it down below for you guys so you can check it out um, this is yeah great stuff great stuff um, again I am not I am not a medical professional so please I always always um, have to give like a disclaimer in these videos like when I'm talking about my nutrition and my health um, Please consult your physician before you do anything. Obviously um, This is just what I'm doing and what works for me and the research that I've done and like my years of knowledge Do you guys see that in the background? Uh, um, I've been like with all the Easter candy lately um, I've just been craving more sweets than I usually do which is weird because usually only crave sweets if I'm pregnant yes. and I took a pregnancy sweets test this morning just to be sure I but do. I am not pregnant um, anyway so I got some of these um, keto fat bombs I'm not going keto yeah. per se I'm just focusing I'm trying to get whole whole nutrition um, I'm trying to have more greens um, and I am going to lower my carbohydrates I'm trying to eliminate sugar processed foods gluten dairy um, as much as I can dairy anyways because I still do use butter um, and creamer here once in a while I'm trying to cut out on the cheese because that is what I go so heavy on and I know um, it's probably affecting me the most is like all the cheese in my diet so I'm trying to eliminate that I diet um, but, I diet yeah I diet <laughs> but um, dairy diet. will be the last thing to go it's gonna be a slow el elimination process um, but essentially it'll be like a low carb um, like you guys know that I've done before and that's mostly how much can I eat but here's the key thing is I didn't want to stress this this time about if I had a half a banana and that's what put me over my carbohydrates I wasn't going to stress about that um, for example I have um, I've, I have a green kale smoothie like every day and that consists of um, frozen kale and spinach and water and wheatgrass and spirulina and um, chia seeds, lemon juice, um, strawberries, blueberries, and a half a banana. That is real raw nutrition. Um, and, and green smoothies are so good for you and really good to introduce when you're trying to detoxify your body a little bit. I don't believe that you need to be drinking every single meal, um, but I do think that green smoothies are a really good way to get a good amount of greens in um, just because I can fit like four cups of kale into one smoothie okay, um, but to on? mask those that greens well, flavor I have, I have to have a half a banana in well, there can I have one cookie? yes I will share a cookie with you so point of the story is I just I didn't want to stress wow. about eating fruits and having too many carbohydrates from fruits and vegetables um, so I'm just I'm focusing on just a really clean diet trying to stick around that 20 to 40 grams of net carbs um, Again being flexible with myself if the carbohydrates are coming from bananas and um, things like that so anywho um, Now that I went off on a tangent <laughs> um, these are the like just treats that I got for myself once in a while I just want a little treat but I don't want to like break my diet um, this will help me get there I do plan to have a cheat meal once a week and that'll be every Saturday night I'll have a cheat meal this last Saturday I went ham and I got loaded tots and they were so freaking good totally worth it. I have loaded tots and pizza they were so bomb um, anyway so I got these for a little treat um, and then I also got these mini cookies by high key um, these are keto cookies um, and the reason why I look for keto things is because um, they're typically made with decent ingredients um, and have sugar alcohols instead of actual sugar so 
like erythritol, for example. If you're going to have an artificial sweetener, erythritol is my go-to. Um, again, I'm not gonna get into the sciencey part of it, but I will just tell you guys. Um, I'm gonna open one of them. Yep, um, I will just tell you that erythritol is my go-to when I'm hardcore dieting. Um, so I'll see if I can find like a link for some erythritol down below. But anywho, um, I am getting, or I got oh, these no, mini cookies. Pie is dying. Okay, so I have never tried these before, but I was craving a bunch of sweets. As you guys can tell, I was craving sweets and treats the other day. And I wanted to get some that wouldn't break my diet. So, come here, Kai. Want three? Mm, you can have one. Why is it tiny? Because. Mm. Those are really good. You can have one more. Those are really, really good. Ingredients are almond flour, erythritol, monk fruit extract. That's a go-to of mine as well. Stevia extract. And then the chocolate chips are unsweetened chocolate, erythritol, cocoa butter, stevia extract, um, sunflower lecithin, coconut oil, butter, dried eggs, natural vanilla flavor, baking powder, um, collagen, guar gum, sea salt, and xanthan gum. And the last thing in our Amazon health haul for today um, is organic hemp hearts. This is a really, really good source of whole nutrition, natural whole nutrition. These are like powerhouse. These are powerhouse seeds. Anything hemp, um, like I said lately, Mike and I have been getting into more like the hemp and like CBD benefits and all of that just with like my inflammation. I'm blown away. We have done hemp hearts many, many times before, um, but we just decided to repurchase 10 grams of protein, 12 grams of omegas. Um, and I really, really like this on salads and smoothies. I prefer it um, in like a smoothie bowl, that's what I prefer it in. Um, for three tablespoons, there's only one gram of um, carbs. And for the other nutrition that you get in here, the one carb, so worth it. We really like these, um, especially for their fat content. So they have a total of 15 grams of fat. These are healthy fats. This is a healthy kind of fat. This is something similar that you would find in like a nut or an avocado. Really, really good um, fat content. But if you're trying to go keto, this is the way to go. Again, I'm not going fully keto. I am consuming healthier fats. I am lowering my carbohydrates. Um, I am avoiding any sugars that would spike my insulin. But, yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna wrap up that little health tangent up there, but I'll have all of, but I'll have all of those linked down below. Kaya wants to show you one of my other favorite snacks. Yeah, um, this, is, this is my mom's one favorite mm -hmm. snack. And it's really healthy. So, those cheese wisps, they're low carb. That's super healthy, they're low carb. Um, I don't like this kind, the bacon barbecue. I had Walmart delivery ordered um, the Asiago Pepper Jack cheese one, which is the one that I like. Um, and I can only have a couple at a time, otherwise they get like way too punch in for me. Um, but this one I don't super care for, and it leaves like a weird film in my mouth, so. Anywho, but as you can probably see behind me in this cupboard, I'm gonna show you guys what this cupboard. But um, this is where I keep the kids' snacks. I've got beef sticks, so these are all of my snacks, and I am going to add the rest of the snacks that I just got. Yeah, that's, yeah, those are really I'm gonna hide those so Kaya doesn't get them. I'll keep you guys posted on these too. I have never tried those ones before. I've only made the like homemade version of these. Um, fat bombs, they're like made with unsweetened cocoa and coconut oil um, and peanut butter. But I'll let you know how these are. Okay, so I have been meaning to show you guys two things. Um, I realized, I don't think I ever showed you guys my laundry room, after we redid it, 
Um, I've only shared on my Eminem Rustics channel, um, like where we did the DIY, which again, you guys have heard me rant about it before, but if you're not subscribed to our Eminem Rustics channel, why not go check it out? We've got all the DIYs to keep you busy and get you like inspired during this quarantine right now. And this so, is, and I'm gonna show you guys, this is the closet. It's messy, so it's full, this. but this is real life. Yeah, I'm talking for so hard on this. Yes, I did. So we put in this countertop yeah, here. Like you guys said probably in some of my other footage have seen what this looked like before. It was basically just like a white, oh, don't. Um, it was basically, it was basically just like a white wire shelf up here. Um, we added in this countertop. Don't worry, it's like rated up to like 500 pounds. It's good. That's a battery though. Let's not mess with that. What's that? A battery for a fire alarm. Let's not touch that. Uh, yep, for a fire alarm. Um, anyway, so we added this countertop in so that we can fold laundry. And then we added two shelves in here. This is where I keep all of my extra cleaners. I haven't been using them a ton because I've been using my homemade um, countertop cleaner with made with like my um, thieves oil. And then, yep, I'm gonna, yep, we're gonna show them your room next. Um, anyways, and then I keep all of our paper products up here. Um, which looks like a crazy amount, but I promise it's not. It was just like one Costco package worth. I'm not a crazy toilet paper holder. Uh, I'm not a crazy toilet paper hoarder, but um, we just don't go through it very fast in the house. So that's where I keep the toilet paper and the paper towels. Um, this is all of my like plugins for Bath and Body um, wallflowers. I need to get some more baskets and things like that to organize it. But yeah, this is the laundry room. Everyone you guys totally loved it on Instagram and Pinterest. So showing you the real life version of it right here. Close your eyes. They're closing their eyes. One, open two, open. three. Bum, ba, da, bum. And the kids' room. No, no, I'm not coming in. We're gonna come in? Okay, let's go in. So Mike and I worked on this um, wall this weekend, this back wall. We're not quite done with the kids' diamond. room. We're look replacing this light. Um, I just ordered a light from World Market. So that'll be coming in in the next week or so. Um, we moved this guy from our bedroom into their bedroom just because it looked so good. Um, I'll have a DIY going up um, probably in a few days, guys. I've really been... I have a DIY going up for this, but you guys, I've been taking my sweet time with editing videos. Editing for two channels and the blog is no joke on top of working from home. It is insane. So um, I'll have this DIY up as soon as I possibly can, but I just wanted to show you guys the details on here are crazy. Mike stained every single board individually underneath. Um, go peep my Instagram post to see what it looked like before. And then... We whitewashed the entire thing, but we didn't want to whitewash it so that the wood grain wasn't showing. This took a long time. Um, this took about a day and a half, but it was shh, Kaya, but it was completely free. We had everything on hand. The pellets were free from Mike's work. We had the white paint. Um, we had our air nailer. We had everything on hand. So this literally cost nothing but time. So I would say. It was worth it and um, I didn't want it to seem like too farmhousey um, I want to um, like the house is more whole like a, the house is more so like a boho farmhouse so I think once I get this um, like it's like a black um, wicker chandelier um, it's really gonna pull everything together and give it that boho feel so um, yeah anyway super cute and then I got something up my butt. I think those pillows cute. I'll have these linked down below for you guys as well. I'll link the cow picture too because I do get a lot of questions um, on that. It's from Target. But um, these pillows are for, these pillowcases are from Amazon. They're super cute by um, Woven Nook, I think. But then I got this like wild hair up my butt yesterday. So this is um, just a mini fridge from when I was... Um, like right after I had Riker, um, we brought this fridge up right after I had Riker so that I could keep my breast milk in there and like, um, snacks in the middle of the night. And I didn't really move a whole lot the first couple days when I was at home. And now here it is a year later, this mini fridge and it hasn't moved. Um, it was really, really ugly and old. No, 
It was really, really ugly and old and was like stainless steel and it had paint splatter all over it. There's still like paint splatter up here from my keeping this thing in the garage, which I can clean off. But um, anyway, I chalk painted the front of it and I think it looks so much nicer. And I'm actually gonna move it down into the basement um, and we're gonna do like a little mini bar. That's disgusting. What was that for? Um, anyways, we're gonna move it down into the basement, but isn't it so cute, chalk painted? I never would have thought. I got the idea from, I think it's Proverbs 31 girl. I think that's her Instagram name. Anyway, um, much better than it was before. And, okay, last thing I wanna show you guys is I, my bathroom is a complete disaster, so stay tuned for the um, bathroom organizational video coming in about a week. Um, this shower curtain I brought from the basement up um, because I just had this like really ugly cream shower curtain up here. Um, anyway, this is from Target, really cute. Goes with our theme up here. And then I decided to chalk paint. Look at that messy closet. I'm also going through all this. Fun. Um, Decided to chalk paint, hi guys, decided to chalk paint this mirror because it was horrendous. If you guys have seen any of my other videos um, with this mirror here, it was like this like 80s like speckled, I mean I just purchased it like a few years ago, but it had this like silver trim that was like speckled with paint. I don't know, it was really weird. So I decided to paint my mirror. So, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but um, our towel holder is a pipe um, and same with our toilet paper holder right here. So anyway, that's just like a few things that we did around the house um, this weekend for projects. See what I mean? You can just like pick up a paintbrush, like swap out, like bring a sh shower curtain from like one bathroom to another and it totally changes the look. Um, I ordered an earring holder and some organizational bins for this um, bathroom. And I'm completely tearing this closet apart and donating a bunch of these clothes this weekend. So stay tuned. I've got like a total Kanmari organizational video for this space. It's going to be like for my closet and for the bathroom. Um, we're going to clean everything out and reorganize because that's what this quarantine is about. is family time and cleaning and organizing. So, all right guys, I've been chatting your ear off for like 20 minutes, I'm sure. Um, one last area that I need to organize is I took Kaya's like um, bed rails off. I don't know how to take these things apart. So here they just sit um, until Mike will take them apart for me. <laughs> um, and then I have, these are the kids's, I went through the kids' closet um, and took out all of the clothes that don't fit them anymore. If you haven't seen my um, trendy like kids clothing haul, I'll leave that linked down below and up here for you guys. Um, yeah, so all of the things, all of the changes. What have you guys been doing to keep busy during quarantine? Um, I guess this isn't a quarantine, it's technically it's a lockdown. Um, but, all right guys, I'm gonna leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed this like super talkative video. Um, I just had lots, there's been like, it's just been like so many new things happening and going on. Um, my diet and the house projects and all of the things. So again, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel down below and also the M&M Rustics channel so that you don't miss out on any of our other fun videos that are coming out. <laughs> The kids are pretending, hey, um, the lock's on your side of the door there, child. <sighs> All right, on that note, I am going to go leave the video a comment and a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>